Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Razer Leviathan V2. As you'd expect, this is a Razer Chroma compatible PC gaming soundbar from Razer, and obviously it's version 2 of Leviathan. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my experiences with this speaker. And you can see it here on my desk, and I'll give you some sound tests later on to show you the sound out of it. But this is an interesting setup because it has a number of of highlights to it one of which is the ability to switch sources and also to easily work out which is your favorite source and i'll talk about what i mean with that later on now this is a 65 watt soundbar with its own dedicated subwoofer it has two 95 mil full range drivers two passive radiators and two 20 mil tweeters as well so it's designed to offer up some pretty good sound in a variety of ways and obviously it comes with THX spatial audio. In the box you get the sound bar itself which have you seen is pretty slimline and small enough to fit nicely under the monitor so you would have seen from those initial clips that was under my Samsung Odyssey G9 and here you can see it in the hand so it's fairly compact and yet quite punchy delivers a really good sound actually really loud Nice rich sound, good bass and good surround sound with that THX spatial audio as well. Obviously it's a sound bar, so it's not as good as having full dedicated surround sound speakers, but it still delivers good audio. It has Bluetooth 5.2 as well, so you can connect a Bluetooth device. And I'll show you me connect to my phone later on, for example. And then obviously you also have the ability to use it the PC sound and easily switch it off and into other modes. So it's really handy. It's actually very conveniently designed in a number of ways. Now this boasts Razer's Chroma compatibility and it has 18 lighting zones. But I actually think that's one of the smallest points about the speaker because as you'll see from the shots a bit later on, the Chroma doesn't really stand out that much. I feel like the RGB lighting isn't particularly bright. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, but if you're buying a speaker for the RGB lighting, you might be disappointed because I found that only really is it at night when it shines well enough to be seen or to matter. There's a down firing subwoofer, which you can see is a fairly compact box and that can either sit on the desk or the floor. They've suggested on the desk and I've tried it in both. The cabling isn't terribly long from that to the sound bar though, so it's worth bearing that in mind. One of the things I do like about the soundbar is they also include some extra feet in the box. So you have these included as standard, but then you can swap them out with some other ones that come in the box that are slightly angled. So you can angle the soundbar up towards your ears more, which is an interesting logic and a nice inclusion. On the underside of the soundbar, you'll also see the lighting strip. So that's the 18 lighting zones that are controllable with Razer software. So your friend Chroma, obviously, if you have a keyboard and a mouse from Razer as well, you can make some pretty nice RGB combinations on your desk and have a nice setup there. But the sound is obviously what's the most important thing out of this. And it does deliver a great sound experience from what I've seen and heard. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Don't generally use speakers. I prefer headphones. However, this thing does generally offer up a great experience. I really enjoyed it. I have tested out some soundbars in the past and I was expecting good things from this one and I wasn't disappointed. And now you can see a look of it on the desk and you can see some of the RGB lighting glowing from underneath. But as you'll see, it's not that visible. Now, I have played a number of different games with this. Obviously, fours of five, as you can see here from these shots. And you'll see the soundbar on the desk and also the subwoofer off to the left, which actually does look quite chunky when you sit it up against the 49-inch monitor. It's actually quite big, but still delivers a good punch to it as well. And obviously this is a 65-watt soundbar, but it's actually surprisingly loud. Now, obviously it offers audio directly connected to your PC, but you also have the option to connect via 5.2 Bluetooth so you can connect up your phone or other device to it and then transmit your audio that way so there's a button on top for simply turning on the Bluetooth mode and activating that and then being able to play back music and other sound with ease the buttons on top obviously also give you access to volume control but also source switching and just turn it on and off one of the things I have noted it doesn't seem to have a sleep mode as standard so if you go away from your PC but leave it on 
it won't just go to sleep of its own accord which is one thing to bear in mind however it does have a nice setup which i'll show you in a second where you can basically go into razor synapse software and you can assign your favorite other device to use which means that when you press a button it will then switch automatically to your headphones if you have that preference this is great because it means you have the ease to switch between devices without having to go into windows sound settings and mess about with that so that is certainly one of my favorite things about this speaker and the way it works. You'll hear the difference when you're switching between different vehicles here just to demonstrate the sort of pitches in sound and also the overall experience. Now obviously this is coming across via camera microphone and also via your phone or whatever you're watching this on so you just have to take my word for the sound experience but it is a pretty decent one I'm really pleased with it. I certainly would recommend it as a good enjoyable speaker to use. Now I'm going to give you a quick moment to just have some samples of the audio. Just then I'm going to go into the Resynapse software and show you what it's possible to do in there including the tweaks I was talking about with switching sources. Slow 50 to right. Into two left laugh. Into three right. Four left. Six right, extra long of a crest, 60. All right, fire in the hole. We're on the move. The bang is ready. So here we are in Razer's Synapse software and you can see you can obviously switch between stereo and THX spatial audio settings with relative ease. You can also adjust the volume and it's worth talking about volume quickly because that's one of my complaints probably about the soundbar is adjusting volume on it is by plus and minus buttons on the soundbar itself which is a bit fiddly. I think I'd rather see a volume wheel I maybe that might not look as clean on the soundbar but a bit much simpler to design. You also have, and this is my favorite part, quite simply, the ability to press and hold the source button on the soundbar and switch between the soundbar and another playback device. So you could select your favorite headphones or whatever your main device is that you want to use. In this case, I'm using my Go XLR. And then when you don't want to use the soundbar, let's say you're using soundbar during the day and then at night time you want to switch to headphones, you can just press the source button and automatically switch. Now this is fantastic because it means that you don't have to go into your Windows sound settings, click in there and then switch to a different device. And there's just a lot of a faff that you'd have to do around in the sound settings, whereas you can do this directly from the soundbar. You also obviously have options for changing your audio via various different equalizer settings. So you can see the sound adjustment there. There's not much in terms of what you can do in the software. And then there's the chroma lighting, which you can adjust the brightness of and get it to turn off when it's not in use and obviously go into all those. I'm not going to spend much time on that because I think this is one of the least impressive parts of the speaker. It does show up better at night than it does during the day, but it's still not super good. And to be honest, the overall experience with the sound is where it's at. And that's much more impressive. Stick with me and I'm going to leave some more sound clips for you to enjoy. Hopefully you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Check out the description for the specs and links to buy and other information you might find useful. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. Stick out. Open. Deploy stickers. All right. Roger that. Get down. I want to 